As the research continues, there is new and surprising information in the fight against ALS. Hi, I'm Tonya Caruso. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. And with me right now is Merritt Holland Spear. She is the executive director of the ALS Association, the Western Pennsylvania chapter. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So let's begin by really trying to explain what exactly ALS is. ALS, which is commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease because he was the first one who really came out with it, the baseball player, is really a horrible disease. It has no cure. Um, it has currently no treatment. Um, and it starts in various ways in the body. Some people begin to lose their hands. Some people uh, begin to not walk. Sometimes it starts in the speech, which is called bulbar onset, and they lose their ability to speak. Eventually, um, the muscles in your body degenerate and you lose your ability to walk, move your arms, speak, breathe, and then you eventually die. It's such a terrible disease. And um, over the years, you have seen a link um, with veterans to ALS. So since World War II, uh, veterans, whether serving in times of peace or war or branch of military, it doesn't matter, are, have been twice as likely to get ALS. And we still to this day don't know why that is. Um, so the Department of Defense is researching very carefully into the reasons why that may be. In the meantime, there was just recently a study that indicated football players are four times as likely to get ALS. So there probably is going to be a lot of debate on whether this is trauma, some sort of trauma-related head trauma, body trauma, that we're not quite sure. Right, and, and as you said, the research continues, and you are really um, an organization not only raising money for that research, uh, but really there is a support system for folks in a diagnosis. And let's talk about some of the things you do. Okay, so at the national level, um, there's a lot of research going on, and um, there are 38 chapters throughout the country. Um, of the national office and what we do is care for patients, people living with ALS and their families. We provide wheelchairs, we provide wheelchair ramps, transportation, in-home respite care, speech generating devices, whatever the patient may need to be as comfortable and as possible. We want to make sure that their quality of life is the best that it can be while they are still with right. us and we help the families too. Right, and, and provide such support. Uh, you have a big event coming up um, to help with funds for all of this. We do. Our biggest event of the year is the Walk to Defeat ALS. It actually started here in Pittsburgh. Um, we were the first uh, chapter in the, in the nation to have a walk. Um, and now there are over 700 walks like ours across the nation. And this year, our walk is on September 7th at Point State Park. Mm -hmm. So it's really going to showcase Pittsburgh and show off that beautiful new fountain and the buildings. And right. And as we continue to talk, we're putting on the screen website, phone number, Facebook, Good. all these places folks can go to sign up. And um, what do you think, if nothing else, you provide families support, comfort, and really just a uh, hope that someone is out there working? Well, and the walk really brings people together. We have um, family teams and corporate teams, and there are about 4,000 people come together nice. for on that day, and it shows that there is a community Makes a for big ALS. Difference. We thank you so much for joining us. I'm Tonya Caruso. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll see you next time.